Yo, yo, it's EG Chris, and I'm super excited because I got two packages to open up this video. One from my friend Lazy Man Garage, looking forward to opening that. And the second one, you'll see something I've been wanting, something that everyone's been telling me I should get. I know I, sh I should have got it, but you know, time and money, of course. So let's open them up. First things first, I'm gonna open up this package from my buddy. Lazy Man Garage. If you don't follow him on Instagram or YouTube, you're a fool because he's a cool dude. Ooh. Yo. There it is. Let me see. Let me see. Let's put it on the EG. It's got his logo, Lazy Man Garage. Be rocking this. It's actually like the first shirt besides the one I made for myself that I have of any company or any person. So I'm happy to wear that for my buddy. Shout out to Lazy Man. Now let's open up the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? All right, now the moment you and I have both been waiting for. Try not to cut open my hand. That'd be great. A little bit more cut here. Place my hand again. Damn, I gotta do all four corners. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna have to fast forward that for shall we? Oh, oh, damn it! Bubble wrap. All right. Doo -doo -doo. Be right back. All right. Now the moment. You and I have both been waiting for. I'm trying not to cut open my hand. That'd be great. Let's see if I can get this A little bit more cut here. I'm trying to place my hand again. Damn, I gotta do all four corners. Gonna have to fast forward that for shower. Oh, oh, damn it, bubble wrap. All right, doo -doo -doo. be right back. Yo, this thing was bubble wrapped like it was going to the moon. Still, I'm still unraveling it. All right, all right, boys and gals. It's an RBC manifold. Yes, I've been wanting this and needing it for such a long time. This uh, throttle body looked a little doo doo, but it'll work. So this is what the next plan is for the car. RBC. I'm gonna clean this all up, paint this thing in black. But uh, looks like it's got a Type S throttle body. Hopefully everything works. It's got the bracket. K tuned uh, adapter, even a thermal gasket in there. So, uh, yeah, that's gonna have to come off. This is looking real crusty. I'll clean this up. But yeah, super happy with this. This is what the car needed for sure. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna pick up from here and we'll uh, work on this thing. So, here's the RBC prior to cleaning a lot of corrosion on this uh, throttle body I mean this came from the East Coast so that's pretty common I, just, I have no idea where it goes to but it's coming off all this goop it's gonna get cleaned just clean the whole thing over so I can prep it for paint I'm not really sure what the sensor does I don't know if it's important because I don't even have it on the current manifold but I'm gonna take everything apart right now and Thing. All right, so I have everything apart. This is the K tune bracket. It's a hardware, it was all freaking loose, so I don't know who to help put this together. But uh, here's the throttle body, it looks terrible. So I'm probably gonna take a uh, wire brush to this 
and uh, fire wheel as much as I can of the throttle bracket just to try to get it as clean as possible because I think I'm just gonna paint this black paint this black and just all black it out well I decided to cut this and I'm gonna cut the bottom one clean up this RBC a little bit because I don't need those um, shave it up and make it look good so I shaved this off shaved this off I could cut more but I'm kind of nervous about doing it I don't want to puncture it so that's smooth but still some left on it but at least I don't have these things sticking up anymore well it's pretty much shaved it's not super duper smooth but we got rid of these big ass casting well the casting mark here and I think it's for like the cover if you had a cover on there but it's pretty much smooth it needs to be cleaned and I'm gonna try to get into these valleys but these are gonna be the most hardest part sorry I didn't document it but I have no way of holding the camera and bring my camera with me so it's just a phone but looking pretty good so it's taped up prepped big pain in the ass this has been but luckily it should uh, come out pretty good so I'm gonna do that right now I don't feel like recording it so uh, yeah. see how it here's yeah. the type S throttle body and bracket painted it up black because it looked like crap it was like the best solution I could come up with but it looks pretty good I used uh, some of this engine Dupla color engine enamel, semi-gloss. Well, I'm happy with that. And then pretty soon, I'm going to hit that up. So I painted up the RBC and cleared it. It's looking pretty dang good. I uh, hit it a couple times with the heat gun, but uh, probably gonna just let it air dry for as long as I need. And uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Can we put it on? So here's the RBC painted, shaved, throttle body cleaned, spacer on, everything looks good. Looks pretty good, I think. I like the way it looks. Turned out pretty good. So next step is to take the old one off, put this on, enjoy the car. <clears throat> All right, so I'm back from work after painting that crap. As you'll see. And I got a box from my buddy Alan or Chris from Alan Spec. Dope ass buddy of mine. I have no idea what this is. He just said, send me your address. I said, all right. So hopefully it's uh, the Justin Bieber doll I wanted. But I have no idea. Let's cut it open mode. Oh, is that a, is that a lip? Is that a front lip? Hold up, hold up. My boy, Alan, hooked it up with a front lip. So, I just need to figure out how to get it onto the car. Because, I guess, while it was being shipped, it, it morphed a little bit. But, that is hella dope. I am super happy. Maybe this is a rear lip. Nah, it's a front lip. Super appreciate it, man. I really appreciate it. I need to put this on ASAP. I couldn't even wait. <laughs> I'll put this lip right on. It looks pretty dope. Shout out to Alan Spec once again. Look at that whole new look to the car appreciate it homie digging it bro digging it what's up guys so i'm at home and got the car i got the rbc so i'm going to take everything apart and I am hesitant to fit up the RBC because one, I'm gonna have to take off the fuel rail. I ordered our uh, RDX injectors, so I, I wanna make sure there's no fuel in this rail, which I'm pretty sure there's gonna be, but 
I'll find that out once I take everything apart. I'm not gonna record this because, you know, if you wanna find out how to do this or you wanna see how I do it, I guess, one, I don't feel like it, and two, there's tons of videos on the internet of people taking apart their, their car. So it'll just be kind of like a, I don't know, before and you'll see it apart or whatever, but quick rundown anyway, even though I said I wouldn't. I'm gonna take this off, I'm gonna drain the coolant, then I'm going to leave the throttle body on, take off the bracket for the throttle cable, take off the ground, the PCB hose, whatever, um, injector clips, uh, rail needs to come off because, uh, because I said so. Uh, but I think I might just leave it there. I don't know and then uh, I had a code for the uh, Knock sensor and I believe I still have a replacement one. So I might as well do it while everything's away and uh, I think that's it. Oh, I, oh, I got to do an unboxing. Let's do the unboxing All right, so I have the box Covering up my address. Knowing that. Okay, what do we got? Keep it K-tuned. Everything I have, almost K-tuned. I don't know. I just prefer them. So first on the list is thermal gasket for the RBC. Basically, like a piece of plastic, but you know, I didn't want to cheap out, so I got the the K-tuned one because I figured, hey, it's got to be good. So what do we got in the box? Some hardware. Oh, and we have the K-Tuned Bypass thingamajigger for my uh, K24 because we used the coolant for the intake and the RBC I had or I got is cut. So this is gonna be perfect for it also. It's some uh, Bling bling, and I like some bling, a little bit of bling, because you know there's some bling in there. But got this quality part, happy to put it on. Some like weird pitting and light scratches, but I think we'll be fine. Let's see this uh, ooh, sticker, a little K Tune sticker, so that'll get put on the toolbox where I got tons of stickers. But yeah, let's get to it. All right, so coolant drained, changed the knock sensor, took off the manifold. Uh, of course, fuel oil had gas in it, but didn't make a mess. Luckily, didn't hit my valve cover that's fresh. So now I'm gonna put the thermal gasket on, I'm gonna put the RBC on, and then probably put the bypass block off crap on, put that on, uh, then I'm waiting on injectors and a fuel pump, so that'll probably be a separate video. So I'm gonna install the RBC right now. All right, so wrapping up the video right now. So there's a lot to cover in this video. I painted the manifold, put the lip on, uh, I don't know, whatever else I freaking did, but got the uh, coolant block off thing on, got the RBC on, and some trouble that I'm gonna run into is uh, this coolant hose, it's gonna have to be changed out for something, I'll have to do some research. This regulator might not fit, it might hit this bracket, which will suck. So I'm gonna wait till I get the injectors and you know, fat, uh, put everything in the way it needs to be put in and see if it hits. And if it does hit, then I'm just gonna have to go with another regulator, probably mount it over here like 90% of people do with this setup. But uh, yeah, that's gonna conclude the video for today. Hope you guys like it. Hope you like the way the car looks. I think it looks pretty damn good with the RBC, but uh, you know, it has to be functional. So that's the next step is tidying everything and getting it to work. So enjoy the video. I know it's probably long and whatever, but hope you guys like it. Check me out on Instagram, egchris92. Like, comment, subscribe. Later.